Welcome to Smart Mom. I'm your host, Monique Blyther, and today we are cooking smart and eating healthy with meals for you and baby. Who needs to buy baby food when you can make your own? I'm going to show you a few quick and easy steps to prepare a meal for you and your family and the little ones with leftovers that will help you save money and time in the kitchen. Our menu for today is lemon pepper chicken with green beans and sweet potatoes. For this recipe, you'll need one pound of chicken, two sweet potatoes, a half a pound of fresh green beans, two limes, one lemon, and our ingredients will include salt, lemon pepper, garlic powder, cinnamon, and your favorite Italian dressing. Now the prep time for this dish takes about 15 minutes. The first thing you want to do is you want to cut your lime in half. And we're going to use this to clean our chicken thoroughly, OK? You're going to take your chicken, add a little bit of water. You're going to squeeze the lime into the bowl. Get as much of the juice out as you can. Use the entire lime, both parts. Sometimes I even like to take it and just swish it around in the bowl with the chicken. So we're going to squeeze all the juice of the lime in there. We're going to let that sit for a little bit. So now we're going to do the same thing in a separate bowl for the green beans. Now the green beans, you want to clean those thoroughly because they are fresh. Add some water to those. We're going to use our second lime. Same process, cut that in half, and we're going to squeeze it into the bowl. Okay. Go ahead and mix those around just a little. Lime not only helps clean your produce and your vegetables, but it also gives it a really nice taste. Okay. So while we're letting that sit, the next thing we want to do is we want to peel our potatoes. So we're going to let our chicken and our green beans sit. We're going to peel our potatoes. Now, as we're letting those sit, once we're done peeling our potatoes, we're going to go ahead and thoroughly wash our chicken and wash off our green beans. So while I'm peeling my potato, I'll allow you a little time to prep, and we'll be right back after this. My mom is my hero. She goes into places people want to get away from. She makes everyone safe. But the best thing she can do is come home. The U.S. Fire Administration reminds you to protect yourself and firefighters. Have smoke alarms on every level and near sleeping areas. Test them monthly. Change batteries as instructed. Install sprinklers. Do your part to get out before firefighters have to come in. Welcome back. Once you've prepared your ingredients, we're going to start with the chicken first. So you want to take the chicken, you want to place it into a flat pan. Okay. And you want to fill it with about two-thirds water. Not too much, just a little. All right. So that lemon that we have, we want to take half of that and we're going to squeeze that over our chicken, like so. All right, now that we've added our lemon, we want to start with our Italian dressing. And we're just going to take that and kind of drizzle it over each piece. Now, if you don't want to use chicken breast, feel free to use any part of the chicken that you like, whether it's tenders, whether it's drumsticks. I'm using the chicken breast preferably because it's healthier. Um, it's a less fatty part of the chicken, so that's what we'll be cooking with today. So after you've added your Italian dressing, we'll go ahead and add just a dash of salt. Not much, just a little. I usually don't measure. I typically like to do things by taste. So I'll try my best to make sure I include a few measurements. So we'll add about a tablespoon, a little less than a tablespoon, of lemon pepper. This is going to give your chicken a very nice lemon pepper flavor. Okay, make sure you get it 
get a good amount on all pieces. After that, we'll add our garlic powder. And again, for garlic powder, if you'd like to substitute and use fresh garlic, that's perfectly fine. Same difference. We'll take that and you're gonna cover it over a medium fire. That way you'll bring it to a light boil. Okay. So while our chicken is beginning to simmer, we'll go ahead and move on to our sweet potatoes. Now, I'm introducing a new way of cooking sweet potatoes because sweet potatoes can take a very long time to cook, especially if you're baking them. So what I'm going to do, instead of baking it, I'm going to put it in the rice cooker. Rice cooker or slow cooker, whichever one you have at home, either one will do the same. This cuts about half of the cooking time for a sweet potato. So we're gonna go ahead and add our sweet potato to the rice cooker. I've had some water in there boiling just to get a little hot. Go ahead and add that. Close it and I'm gonna set my cooker to steam cook. That's gonna take about 20 minutes or so. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cook and then move on to our string beans. Now, I prefer fresh string beans over canned string beans because there's less sodium. So we're gonna take these, and it's very important if you are using fresh string beans that you cut the ends of them because the ends are very tough, and this is gonna make things a little harder for us when it comes to pureeing the food for baby. So take the string beans, you're gonna cut each end of them. And while we're doing that, let's talk just a little bit about introducing vegetables to your infant. What we're cooking today would be considered stage one and stage two foods for baby. The first we're gonna do is sweet potatoes, and then we're going to mix a green bean and chicken. Now, when you're thinking about introducing vegetables, you wanna make sure that you stay away from certain greens. If you'll notice, in the grocery store, the only green vegetables that you'll find would be peas and green beans. So that's your safe call for if you are going to introduce vegetables, those would be the first that you want to use. My little guy, he likes everything. So I don't have a problem with when it comes to feeding him just about any vegetable. Another good one to introduce would be carrots. So if you didn't want to use green beans, I would either use peas or also carrots. Another good source to introduce, another good food item, would be rice. Babies usually like rice if they're not allergic to it. That is another item that you can mix with chicken. And I'm gonna show you how to do that just a little later. So, while you are preparing your green beans, you wanna make sure that you are keeping an eye on the little one. I'm sure they are probably crawling around on the floor somewhere or crying for your attention if they're anything like my little guy. Now, one safety tip that you want to keep in mind is that whenever you're cooking in the kitchen and you have little ones around, try to keep all the sharp objects out of the way and out of reach. Because my little guy tends to reach for the countertops, so I make sure that all of the pots and pans that are on the stove, the handles of those are away so that he's not able to reach them. Now, he isn't that tall, but hey, they grow so fast you never know. So our chicken, I can hear it boiling just a little bit, and it's starting to smell real good. So we're just about done preparing our ingredients. Once we're done with the green beans, we're gonna add them to a pot, and also we're gonna squeeze a lemon over the green beans to give it a little more flavor. Now, when it comes to seasonings on the vegetables, I like to keep things as fresh and organic as possible. So I usually don't add season at all. If you'd like to, that's your preference, but all I'm going to do is add a little lemon to it. So, okay. So, I have another pot on the aisle here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fill it a little less than halfway with water. Now I'm gonna add my green beans. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna take the other lemon that I have and I'm gonna squeeze it into the pot. Okay. 
Okay. I'll go ahead and get the fire started on this one. We also want to have this one on a very medium fire, and then we're going to cover that as well. I'm going to chop a few more green beans, but in the meantime, I do want to check on my chicken. And you'll see that it's already begun to boil. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of shift this around just a little bit. You want to check on your chicken about every 10 minutes or so, and then make sure that you turn it over so that it thoroughly cooks on both sides. That's looking pretty good. I'll give it another couple minutes before I flip them over. So I've got a few more green beans. Now there's a quick trick that I want to show you that'll save you a little bit of time when it comes to clipping the ends of these. I have cooking scissors which work very well. That way I really don't have to worry about positioning them on the cooking sheet here, the cutting board. I can just grab green beans, cut, and keep going. I typically use these scissors for just about everything. If a knife can't get through it, well, if the scissors can't get through it, then the knife I'll use. Okay, so we're moving right along here. And we're looking great. So I'm going to add the remaining green beans to the pan here. And again, we're not adding any seasoning. So I am going to squeeze just a little bit more lemon. Make sure that they all get a very nice flavor. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix that up just a little bit. Then I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to let that simmer. So our chicken is looking pretty good here. I think it's ready for us to turn it over. I'm going to go ahead, turn my chicken over. And what you'll notice is that we'll have to add a little bit more seasoning, but we'll add it in a little bit later. So after you're done turning over your chicken, we're going to go ahead and let that simmer a little bit more. And then we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Smart Mom, where we are cooking smart and eating healthy. Our food is almost done. We're going to check on our chicken. Um, you may need to add just a little bit of water to it. So that's why you want to make sure that you're checking it every 10 minutes or so. Add just a little bit more water. That way it doesn't dry out and it doesn't burn. We're going to let that just catch a little bit more heat. Our green beans are looking good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the fire down on that. Okay. And my sweet potatoes, I think those are just about done. Perfect. So while we're waiting for everything else to finish cooking, we're going to go ahead and start puring foods for baby. We'll start with the sweet potatoes. Here's my bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do, all you need is about a good helping, a good spoonful of sweet potato for the little one. All depends on how much your little one eats. You can be the judge of that. I'm going to spoon out just enough. Okay. And now, with sweet potatoes, you really don't need a food processor or the blender because it's very easy just to mash. So we're going to take that and we're going to mash that just a little bit and we're going to add it to a separate container. Now these two containers that I have here, these are storable, microwavable, and reusable containers for the little ones. These are awesome to have. They, um, they are BPA free. And you don't have to worry about microwaving them or getting any kind of chemicals into your food. So if you are planning on purchasing some containers to store food for your little one, I recommend that you make sure that it's BPA free. So we're going to go ahead and just mash that just a little bit. Now this is just a little watery, which is great. What you'll notice is that with some baby food lines, they're a little bit more juicier than the natural product. So that's fine. What you may want to do is add just a little water to make sure that the consistency is what you want it to be. I'm going to add just a tad bit of water there. Mash this up just a little. And again, you can make this as smooth or as chunky as you think your little one can handle. Okay. 
Okay, so once we're done preparing and mashing our sweet potatoes, we're gonna go ahead and add this to our first little container here. So right there we have one meal for baby. I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and cover it so that it stays warm. And now I'm ready to check on my chicken and my green beans. So as we mentioned, you wanna make sure that you're checking your chicken every so often. It's looking pretty good, very nice and white. It's gonna brown just a little bit more. And now that I flipped it over a couple times, I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning to it. So hang tight for just another couple minutes and we'll be right back after this. It's easy, Grandpa. Brush your teeth twice a day. Floss your teeth once a day. That's the way your fight decay. Hey, hey. Brush and floss every day. Hey, hey. Healthy smiles are the way. Hey, hey. hey, hey. You can keep your smile for a lifetime. Even a boomer Saurus like me. Boomers, you gotta love them. We're almost done preparing food for baby. So far we have our sweet potatoes. The next thing we want to do is we want to blend together our chicken and our green beans. I'm going to use a blender. A lot of people use food processors. Personally, I don't have one, so a blender works well for me. The first thing you want to do, go ahead and check on your chicken. Now, keep in mind that I haven't added a lot of seasoning to this, and this is primarily for baby. I'm going to go ahead and take one chicken breast. Just going to bring that out just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a portion of this, like so. Not too much, but it's definitely your discretion. You know how much your baby eats, and it really all depends on how much you want to make to either store and save for later. And again, as I mentioned, I enjoy using the scissors. Makes things a lot more easier and safer. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and add this back just to keep that nice and warm. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add my green beans. Now the green beans, we're just gonna take these and we're gonna add them right into the blender. Just grab a few there. Okay. Now, before you start blending, you wanna make sure that you add some water. This is gonna help everything blend nice and smooth and also give it a nice consistency because you don't want it to be too thick. All right, we're ready to go. Every now and then, you want to make sure that you just mix up your food to make sure that you're getting all of it in there. That way, you're avoiding having any major chunks. And make sure that you add water as needed. That's looking pretty good. We're almost there. I'm going to add just a little bit more water, actually. And, I, and a few more green beans. And then I'm going to blend that to a nice consistency, and we'll be right back after this. Cans. Water bottles, 
and clothes. These forms of aid cost more to ship than you think. Cash donations provide immediate and effective relief to those who need it, without the shipping costs. If we all do our part, together we can provide help across the world. To learn more, check out CIDI.org. Welcome back to Smart Mom, where we are cooking smart and eating healthy. We're just about done. We've done pureeing the green beans and chicken for our little one. We're going to go ahead and pour that into his restorable, microwavable, and BPA-free container. Once you've got that in there, you're ready to go. Now, what you'll notice is that it may not look very appetizing, but trust me, it tastes good. All right? So, we're ready to prepare the main dish for the big ones. All right, so we'll start with our sweet potato. Sweet potatoes, they may break up just a little bit. And for some people, they either like to cut them open or just have them whole. I'm going to go with whole. Now that we've got that, we're ready to add our green beans. And again, we use natural flavoring for our green beans. No seasons at all. If you'd like, you can add a little bit of lemon to it, just to give it that extra lemon flavor. And finally, we're ready to add our chicken. That smells so good and it's going to taste even better. Let's grab that little piece that we've got there. Okay. So, we're just about done. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of cinnamon to our sweet potato, just to add a little bit of flavor. And we're all set. So you've got a meal for your family and two meals for the little ones. Let's not forget our sweet potatoes here and our green beans and chicken. So you're ready for dinner. Bon appetit. Thanks again for tuning in to Smart Mom. For more recipes and tips on healthy living and parenting, make sure you visit the website, www.smartmom.tv. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, God bless.